Bombers fans, we need your support to help build our new training facility out at Melbourne Airport. Show your true colours and make a donation at theflightplan.com.au. James, did you, uh, 24 weeks ago, did you think that you'd be sitting here today, first week of the finals? Look, we certainly hope so, and we certainly plan to uh, to try and play finals. But um, you know, we obviously a young group, new coaching group. We weren't sure how the year was going to go. So um, you know, it's really exciting to, to be playing the finals. Obviously, a huge game for both clubs, Carlton and Essendon. Um, big crowd and a great experience for our players. Is coming up by James an advantage or a disadvantage? Look, we think it's an advantage for for our group. Um, you know, it's been a very big group, a very big year for us. Uh, we started training very early in uh, in November or late October. Sorry. So it's been a huge year, just have the week off, mentally sort of let the players down a bit and, and do a bit of training was great. Um, I think also having played 13 weeks in a row, which doesn't normally happen with buys at part of the year, um, it's a lot of games in a row. So we think it's a, an advantage, but you know the first 10 minutes of the game on uh, Sunday will tell us uh, whether we've used that two-week spell well or not. Your second half against Carlton uh, recently was a bit indifferent. Uh, we you guys talk about this week and have you identified some things in that that you can use for this weekend? Yeah, look, we didn't play well in the second half, and you know Carlton played better than we did. Um, so we won't look too much on that second half. I think that um, the round four game against Carlton and the way we defended in that game was a lot better than we defended in the uh, in the game in round 18. So we'll look to uh, enhance our defence um, a bit more, particularly against their small forwards. I think Eddie Betts got hold of us kicking eight goals, and and their small forwards made us look a little bit silly at times. Joe, apart from the obvious. What's different from two, two years on? You were in this position two years ago. Why should you be more confident? Yeah, I suppose, um, well, we, it's the most games we've won uh, since 2004 in a season. So um, I think that probably a couple of years ago we... We were pretty lucky to, to play in the finals. Um, I think that uh, this time around, if you look at the, the draw that we had um, before the season started, you would, it was sort of rated one of the toughest of the league. Um, I think we only played two of the bottom nine teams twice. Um, so I think that we've probably um, we've been pretty competitive against the other top eight sides. Um, and uh, I think that we probably deserve to be in the position that, that we are. And uh, I think that that uh, you know, gives players enormous confidence when they know that you uh, can compete against uh, the better sides in the league. And um, I think that uh, you know, the balance of the group that we've got at the moment, um, we've got, uh, whilst we've had uh, some long-term injuries, we've, we've got a pretty healthy list at the moment. And I think that um, we're also going into a final not having three suspensions uh, from the previous week. So you know, there's a few things that I think that the players are, are pretty well aware of. Of and um, you know, pretty confident going into the game. James, you talked about Carlton Smallports getting hold of you last time, but you think you can make a virtue of the fact that you, they've got fewer tools available, it seems to them, and you've got most of yours available to you. Yeah, look, I think we've got some some very good um, tall forwards, but if you go back to the round four game, their their back line really dominated our forward line, and we, we had those tools in there then. So. Uh, we'll have to work harder at the way we deliver the ball into our forward line. It's not just about having tall players. You have to kick the ball properly to them. But, um, you know, there's different areas of the ground that'll decide the game. Their midfield sensational. Small forwards, obviously, and that's some good running backs. So if we perform well, um, we're a chance. James, what did you get out of Saturday night having a little Oh, look, I don't think Carlton were at their best Saturday night. I think they, they knew that there was the fifth spot was, was there and they, they played a certain brand of football but um, you know I saw more sort of positives in some of the things Carlton did um, and the way they kicked goals early and I think that um, you know the Carlton team were preparing for a final rather than actually trying to definitely win that game but um, I think it's more the last 24 weeks rather than just uh, that game and what I've got out of Carlton is that they're a fantastic defensive team around the football, tackle really hard and then can move the ball extremely well by foot, so we need to be at our best to counter that. With, uh, Jam Sorry, Tori. With uh, Jamison weight and possibly Cruz up and down, has that affected your uh, plan? We'll wait and see during the week. I mean, a lot of speculation, but we won't really plan too much on who's playing and who's not playing until they pick their team Thursday night, and, and, and then we'll see who we have to man up against. But, um, you know, by all reports, all those players could still play, so we'll wait and see before we you know, make too many assumptions on, on what they'll be doing. James, I know it's an ongoing matter and you're probably restricted in what you can say, but obviously Dean Wallace was a big talking point, particularly last week. Um, how concerned are you that it might be a distraction for the club which plays this week? Uh, not at all. I mean, Dean's got our full support. He's a very valued member of our football club. Um, there's still an investigation going. Once the investigation's finished, um, we'll deal with it then. But you know, the players and the, and the coaching staff and the club is fully focused on the Carlton game on Sunday. Do you hope it'll be wrapped up early this week? 
Um, I hope for Dean's sake it, it gets wrapped up as quickly as possible and, and in the right the right fashion and everyone's okay out of it. How is Dean? He's good. He's alright? Yep. James, we've spoken a little bit about the, um, the advantage of the players for having a week off, but what about the coaches? Were you strategizing for Carlton as of that Monday, that uh, last Monday that you got back? Uh, we certainly went to the Carlton game and had a good look at it. Um, you know, I think you've got to be very careful not to put too much planning in over a two-week period and, and bury your players for too long. Two weeks is a long time to prepare for a game. So from a coaching point of view, we've certainly had plenty of discussions about Carlton, but you know, we, we've played them twice already this year and, and we, we've looked at the way they've played. Um, we'll put a lot more time into that this week uh, than we probably did last week. I certainly hope so, because uh, yeah, he was he was excellent and excellent most weeks. Chris uh, he's, a, he's a champion player, and um, we've got a few more options with Job and, and Heath coming back into the team, and maybe also Sam Lonning. And so, probably three of our, our best ball winners um, will be back in the team, and you know, they weren't there last time we played Carlton. So it does give us a couple more, couple more options. But in saying that, he is a, a star of the competition and you know he's played well in most finals he's played in, so we've got our work cut out for us to limit his um, effectiveness. Jim, you are a great uh, finals player. How does preparing for a finals series as a coach differ? I mean, you loved September, obviously you're going to love it as a coach. Yeah, look, it's exciting. I think it, I always looked at September as a player and also as a coach, it's a great reward for the work you put in. And I think that you go into the next month knowing that you just got to play well each week and, and for us it's about playing well each week and then you can you see what happens if you win you you know you get another week so for us as a group it's about um, preparing well this week and, and, and playing giving our best effort and you give your best effort and uh, you never know what can happen. Joe you obviously made the finals a couple of years ago how much does that burn the result you had that night against the Crows and you know how much do you want on time for that is there any that yeah, I mean, it was, a, it was a pretty embarrassing performance and the guys were well aware of it. And, uh, you know, um, I sort of said to the guys before the game, you know, play this game as if uh, it's the last one you'll ever play. And um, I don't think I'll be using that line again. So, um, look, I think it, um, what it does is there's a lot of guys who haven't played a final for, for the Essendon Football Club. And uh, in front of, um, you know, hopefully uh, 95,000 people on a Sunday afternoon at the MCG, the, one of the greatest rivals um, historically, it's going to be a, a great opportunity for those guys to, to run out there and, and, you know, really know what, what finals football is about and what playing in the AFL is all about. And do you feel like the, obviously a lot of talk about Carlton and the fact that they lost their two elimination finals in the last two years, do you feel like there's a bit of pressure on, on them to perform on the big stage? Oh, no, look, I think that um, what we've, as a club, is we respect them uh, enormously for the work that they've done throughout this year, and uh, we feel, I uh, certainly um, personally feel like they were pretty unlucky not to not to get the double chance, and they played probably well enough to deserve it, and uh, just were unlucky with uh, you know what happened with the other teams around them. So we have enormous respect for the way they play, and uh, we know that uh, we're really going to have to play um, you know well um, to be able to be competitive and win the game. James, going back in probably to that last Carlton game in Sydney, are you concerned how many goals your team is leaking of late? Yeah, our last, uh, it's probably been our last uh, eight to ten weeks defensively we haven't been great. Um, first half of games we have and probably the blowout games, Carlton, Collingwood and, and West Coast um, make those figures look probably not as good as, as we would have liked. A um, couple of reasons for that but there's no doubt that early in the year we were defending uh, as a team better than we have in the last six weeks and it's an area we've worked on for the last um, few weeks and we hope to get some results on Sunday. And James, just an update on those three defenders, Pears, Fletcher and Bailey? Uh, they'll all play, yep. There's no doubt about any of them, and I've said that before, and they get injured at training, so I shouldn't have said that because I've probably put a jinx on all of them. But no, at, at the moment, um, they're all right. So um, it's exciting for us to go into a final. Pretty fit, obviously, some long-term injuries with Cremary, Winderlich and, um, and Dempsey. But um, other than that, uh, we are fit and healthy, and, and we're excited about that. Just on you, Joe, you've, you've, you've had a couple of knocks late in the season. But how, how much does the benefit you? Yeah, probably not as much as some of my teammates because of the, um, the injuries that I had during the year and missed a few games. But certainly, as Hurdy touched on, to play 13 games in a row, um, I think that uh, it was really um, the, the bodies of, of the guys who had been in, in that long sort of phase of football really appreciated having the, the bye. And uh, certainly the guys uh, mentally were really looking forward to it. So, um, you know... I know you look at the the way that teams perform the week after the bye, and historically throughout the year they haven't been um, 
hasn't been a lot of wins after a bye, but I certainly think that the, the way the guys' bodies were feeling uh, leading up into that game against Port Adelaide, that it's um, you know quite beneficial to have the bye the week before a final. Do you think that's changed as the season's gone on, James, that the bye's actually become a little bit more of an advantage at the tail end of the season just because there's a bit more fatigue coming in, you know, as Joe's mm. saying, yeah, I think so. I think so. I think that you know, you look at um, you know the, the sides in the top four. If they win, those two of those sides win this week, and they get a week off going to the preliminary final, it's seen as a huge advantage. So um, there's no doubt later in the year having a week off um, certainly helps um, because I think your bodies just need need a, need a freshen up. Um, the sharpness should be there. There should be everything to play for. Um, you know, certainly if we don't come out and perform on the weekend. There'll be no one at Essen saying it's because we had the bye. We think it's been a, a really good advantage. And we spoke to the players at the start of the year about that if we were fortunate enough to make the finals, having that bye in round 24 should give them a chance to freshen up before they, they go into a, a campaign that we hope we're successful in. What, what's your explanation, James, for the decline defensively, of, as you said, the last eight to ten weeks? What have you identified? Oh, I think we haven't defended the ground well at all from all parts from the forward line, letting it come out of our forward line too easily. Um, midfield hasn't been as desperate to stop the ball going through that area and it's left our backs exposed. And we've also not had Dustin Fletcher, Joe, Heath Hocking, Michael Hurley, uh, in uh, Kyle Hooker in the team for the majority of those games have had big scores against us. So I think the mindset hasn't been there, but also personnel-wise, um, we've been lacking a little bit as well.